It's Kid Fader from Fader Code TV checking in. Here bring you guys an update on this R. Kelly situation. Now, as of today, Saturday, March 3rd, 2019, R. Kelly, he's been released from the Cook County Sheriff's Office. He's posted his bond. Well, actually, he had to pay $161,000. Did he owe him back child support from his ex-wife? Now, a spokeswoman for the Cook County Sheriff's Department, when she operated jail, she told you no know, news outlet that his money was posted for him Saturday morning. So from an unknown from an unknown source, so you know, R. Kelly he technically didn't pay it himself. It's kind of like what happened the first time he got rearrested for these for these multiple sex allegations he got going on. A woman posted his bail for him then, so it it could be the same woman, could not be the same woman. Who knows? But R. Kelly he's released. I'm gonna keep following this timeline and keep bringing you guys update on this situation, but. You know, before I sign off, I just want to give my little two cents. I just want to throw my opinion out there. Like, with this whole R. Kelly situation, point blank, period, with the allegations or whatnot, just claim I'm not condoning nothing that he's been charged with or is accused of. You know, you're always innocent until proven guilty. But, you know, so I'm not condoning none of this shit. But at the end of the day, it's like, Man, what's up with all these white entertainers and the news outlets and whatnot? You hear that? You hear that? You hear about that story for about a good couple of days, a few days, and they just disappear off the map. But this R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, so on and so forth, man. And and it be our own, it be our own race. These black women out here, man. It's like shit. Y'all y'all tearing down a brother, helping the white people tear down a brother legacy. Bill Cosby. So on and so forth. Y'all helping these people, man. Y'all should stick beside y'all people, man. It's just my opinion. And I'm not saying R. Kelly is innocent of anything. I'm not condoning anything that he's accused of. But you know what I'm saying? At a time like this, especially if he's not been charged, then you should stick beside your brother right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got all these other situations with these white men and these white celebrities doing the same goddamn thing or even worse, and y'all not going to bash them or nothing like that. You see that people stand up for them? You know what I'm saying? But, hey, like I say, at the end of the day, you innocent to proven guilty. He beat his two, his two cases back in 08, 09. You know what I'm saying? Even if he, you know what I'm saying, did do something, I don't condone this shit. But at the end of the day, you got to stand beside church because at the end of the day, it's about... It's about what's right and wrong. And two, it's about sticking by your people. Uplift your kings and queens. Especially during time of need. You know what I'm saying? But this is my little opinion. And until next time, make sure y'all hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. Drop a comment in the comment box so your boy. And give me y'all opinion about this whole R. Killer situation. And this whole crazy ordeal. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep updating you guys with exclusive content. But until next time, it's Kid Fatal with Fatal Culture TV signing off.